Ooh, ooh, I think this is it. I think we're gonna have a baby crocodile. <gasps> she looks so dumb with life. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to Colocra Gaming. Today we're going to be carrying on with Snowdrift Sanctuary, our franchise mode zoo. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing you guys are probably going to notice is I've gone and put in a couple of decorations. So I've gone and added in some lighting. I'm going to go through in a later video and show you guys how I did that. Because I'm going to go through and do some kind of like touch-ups, add in some more education, that sort of thing. But I'm going to clump it together in one video for you guys. Um, so, once I've uploaded it, <laughs> um, I will link this video to that for you. Today's plan is I'm going to add in some guest facilities. So we're going to put in some food, some drink, some merchandise, try and get a bit more income for our zoo. And I also want to incorporate that into a habitat uh, so we can get a couple more conservation points and that sort of thing. So let's get started. I say that, but right now I can't see anything. So I am going to wait until we get some daylight and then I'll get started. Like I said, I'm always building in darkness, I don't know why. <laughs> um, I kind of want to try and do slightly longer format videos, so not quite so um, snappy on the editing, just so it's a little bit easier for me to make content and kind of upload it for you guys, because at the minute it's taking me quite a long time to edit it, and when I get back to uni that's not really going to be sustainable, so I want to keep making consistent content for you guys. So let me know what you think about that in the comments and uh, we'll see if we can come to something that works for everyone. Oh my god, we've got so many snakes! Why are the yellow anacondas so annoyed? Let me, let me go and uh, sort those guys out. Okay, so it's basically there's too many animals in there. How many animals have we got? Two. Okay. That should be fine now, um, but I'll keep an eye on that. Also, so pretty. Anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, let's sell our excess uh, snakes and stuff get some money. Oh, we're making some quite good quality ones as well, actually. That's cool. So, select all. Oh, very nice. 13,000. Thank you very much. Cool. Right. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit more. Um, now, I do have a confession that I tried to film this earlier and I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, hence where all the trees came from. So, we'll give this a go and hopefully it'll... Uh, <laughs> look decent. Right, is this... No, we're still in the shadow. Uh, okay, come on, come on. Give me some light. Give me some light that I can work with. Come on. A bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. Bingo! Okay. So, yeah, you can see here where I tried to do the first attempt. Um, I'm going to start with the terrain. I'm going to start with the stamp tool. So I'm going to start there, and then I'm just going to lay out the um, foundation for the building. So I'm going to use the same um, textures as I used in the snake house, just to add a bit of continuity through the zoo. And then I'm going to put this a bit forward, and then that way I can smooth these edges because at the minute they've got that like texture pattern that really doesn't look good. So I'm going to put in the saltwater crocodiles into here, because um, I kind of, I think they go quite well with this little area, because I'm kind of going for an arctic and um, like indoor animal, so like your exhibits and your things that you'd find in greenhouses and stuff. So my local zoo has like a little discovery centre and they have some really small, I want to say crocodiles, and they keep them um, indoors, so I'm kind of using that as inspiration for this. And then I'm just going to put in some keeper facilities because it's starting to get a little bit too far for the keepers to work. What I want to have is like a built-in keeper area at the back here. And then I'm probably going to need a power facility as well, so I'm going to put that in here. Oh no, I'm going to need a water treatment, that's it. So I'll put that in here as well. I'm going to put in a door here so that the keepers can access the habitat. And then I'm going to build this wall up around here. So 
So that's as much as the buildings I'm going to do for now. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the terrain tool and just sort this bit out here. You have to make sure that this part here is still flush, otherwise there's a risk of some of the animals can escape. So not necessarily with a saltwater crocodile because they're quite big, um, but things like lemurs, I had an absolute nightmare of a time with the lemurs that I did in a previous zoo just because um, I didn't realise that I'd left a gap and they just kept sneaking out and I couldn't figure out how and just ugh. <laughs> so at this point I'm just smoothing out the sides here just so the crocodiles can get in and out of the lagoon and then I'm going to go in and put in some paths. So at this point, because it's going a bit weird, what I'm going to do is get rid of that and then if you just hit the shift button you can pull it up. So I'm going to go to normal ground level and then just raise it ever so slightly and it will hold its position and then I can just pop it in here and connect it up. So I've gone with this one here to match there and then I'm going to go with this one to match the inside of the snake house. Just want to check where the, the zone of like negativity goes to. Okay, so that's fine. So if I go along here I'll miss it, which is perfect. And then what I want to do is I want to put in two chief beefs, two um, drinks facilities and a gift shop. I know that seems like a lot, but the zoo will actually get quite busy once I put it in because a lot of guests from like over here will come down. So let's just get this put in. Let's track down these buildings. So fun fact when you're um, putting these in, if you aren't happy with it and you hit control Z, um, it will give you the full refund. If you put it in and then you delete it, you'll only get part of your money back. Hmm, that's just really weird. I'm kind of tempted to just get rid of it, to be honest. Okay, so now we're gonna have way too many vendors in our zoo. So I'm just gonna go and review our staff list quickly. Yeah, so we've got way more than we need. Um, so we're gonna have five facilities. I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, sorry, we'll have four facilities. I've got rid of the loony balloons, I'll put that somewhere else. Um, so really I only want maximum of five vendors. So one, two, three, four, five. Sorry guys. Right. Um, and then as soon as we hit play, the guests are going to start coming in and using the facilities. So, uh, I'm going to put in some bins. And then obviously because we're putting animals in here as well, I'm going to put the donation bins at the same time. Uh, and that should cover most of the area. The other thing is we're going to need to put an educational speaker in. So, I'm going to sink that to the underside of the bridge here. Just because if you put them actually on the paths, like the guests can and will vandalise them. Okay, so that's got power, and then I'm just going to move that slightly so it's in the right place. And then the other thing, because we've got food vendors so close to our animals, you're going to get guests throwing in food, so we're going to put up signs asking them not to do that. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to do is put in some benches as well. Yeah, no, there's no, okay. I'm going to pull this bit forward. And then a shortcut for moving tools. Um, if you click on it and then hit M, it'll automatically make it movable for you. Okay, everything is happening. Everything is happening. Right, let me just fix that one. So what's going on? All right, so we've got some new challenges. Fine. Oh, okay. So I just have to release the saltwater crocodile to the wild. Fine, I can do that. I've already got them in the, um, uh, what's it? Trade center. Uh, mechanic research. Yes. Okay, cool. So I've got all my transport. 
I'm now going to get you to research. I think we'll probably do that. Um, what was the difference between habitats and barriers? Oh, they're blueprints. Yeah, no, I don't want blueprints. Um, I kind of want to get the Arctic theme. But I know I'm not going to use it. Food shops, power, drink, souvenir. I'm going to get barriers first. I think that will give us the most utility. And then we'll go from there. Let's get these guys in first. And then I'll figure out what we're going to do next. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get flattened to surface. And the way I was saying about earlier in terms of making sure that the edge was sealed, basically. And then I'm just going to smooth these bits here as well. Right, the next thing that I want to do is, I think I'm going to cover these up. Are they floating? I think they might be. Let me just check. Ever so slightly. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put in some trims, I think. I think the thing is, like, putting the breeze box in works quite well in terms of, like, in-game canon, if you like. Well, not canon. Um, explanation. Because um, crocodiles, I, from memory, they dig burrows and stuff. So actually wanting to protect your stuff by putting the concrete base on the buildings makes sense. So I'm going to put some rock right at the bottom here. So the reason that I'm putting this in is because once we get the heaters in and get it up to the right temperature for the crocodiles, you will be able to see all the terrain and stuff. So I kind of want to just put that in now. And then let's put the barriers in and let's get our crocodiles in. Ah, why are you doing that? Okay, I'm going to go back to the construction mode, take off the angle snap, and we'll see if that improves it. There we go. That's a bit of a weird carryover, but okay. I think the one thing that bugs me is like the doorway doesn't actually like perfectly fit. Right, let's get the crocodiles in. Oh, damn it. <sighs> I forgot to connect that up. <laughs> no wonder they're not putting in the uh putting in the animals. Alright, let's get some stuff past, shall we? Now we should get our crocodiles in. Oh my god, how many times am I gonna say that? <laughs> right, okay. That should have sorted that out, yeah. Okay. What's our animal alert? I know you've eaten guest food, that was from my failed attempt before. I, oh, I need to get the vet to look at you. Right, okay. <sighs> yeah. Hello, welcome to the zoo. We now have some crocodiles. Okay, so they hate the snow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, quickly sort out the terrain for them. Yeah, low welfare pretty much immediately. So what's wrong with your social? Is the terrain not big enough? Oh, they need some uh, water, that's fine. So let's put the water in first. Oh, Is that a puddle amount? That's basically. Oh, and then you can see here I haven't. I've missed a. Um, so yeah, that's probably being obstructed by the path. So what I'm gonna do? Let's see if I can just get rid of this last line here on the path. Put in the water and then put it back.
I might just make this bit here deeper, I think. So I'll put my paths back. Because it took a, a, a bit longer than I would have wanted to, to fill that in. So I'll do is I'll make that a bit deeper. So if you push and then use the plant foundation. So can you see where it's got this overhang here? You have to watch out because if you look from the top, you're like, oh, that's the edge, it's fine, it's nowhere near the barrier. But because it's cutting in underneath, um, it is possible to get it to a stage where the animal is sort of swimming underwater, crosses past the boundary line, the game freaks out, goes, oh my god, the animal's escaped, when they haven't and they can't get out. Um, it's just the, the way that you've um, done the terrain modelling. But yeah, so I don't think that's undercutting it, so it should be fine. So when I've got quite a lot to smooth out, so like here, um, I like to use the push tool, just um, not the push and pull, just to help reduce the gradient in this little area here. And then the smooth like becomes a bit more effective. And then the next thing I want to do is check the traversal area for the crocodiles and just make sure that they can reach everywhere. Okay, so they can get down that side, they can't get down this side. So I need to do some more smoothing here. And then is that still not updated? So I'm just gonna hit the play button and then the blue bit will disappear and then it'll come back when it's recalculated. There we go. Yeah, okay, cool. So, in terms of the terrain, 100% hard shelter. Um, I'm not going to worry about that one. A, uh, when you put paths over hanging the exhibit, that counts for hard shelter, um, which is the basis for our wolf den. But um, I'm going to put this in like a giant greenhouse, so I'm not going to need a uh, hard shelter when we finish this anyway. The terrain itself is atrocious. <laughs> So way too much snow, um, you need more rock and more soil. Okay, so I just need to get rid of the snow and then we'll go from there. So I think what I'll do is I'll put in, I'm going to do this a bit of a weird way. I'll put in one round of glass and then I'll put in the foliage just so that I can try and avoid any clipping. Okay, so when you're putting these um, pieces, they actually have a slight lip on one side, so I normally take a minute just to make sure that I've got it the right way round. Um, just to get like a nice clean effect. And then once I've got the outer greenhouse done, I'll put the roofs in on the um, food court. Once I know kind of like what headspace I've got to play with. I think the thing that makes me quite sad is like we've got these really pretty, I, I, I think they're pretty, they're like curved corners but we don't have any curved glass pieces in the modern deals, like the modern um, set, they only come in the, I think it's classic, and then they're white and so it doesn't match, it's just, uh, I think we can recolour them but I can't experiment with them right now because I don't have them in this little set. I think I might use this one. Especially because I'm planning on doing some more dome architecture um, in other parts of the park for some tropical animals. So I think starting to introduce that curved shape here will work quite well. So one of the things with these sort of thinner glass panels, so the ones like these triangles here, this one here, they're designed to kind of fill this gap here. They're actually thinner than the other pieces, so it can be quite tricky to make sure that they line up properly, which is why I've gone and like really zoomed in. I don't know how I feel about these like 
crazy panel gloss. It's like, it feels like it looks like the glass is cracked. And I don't know if that's the effect I want to go for, given the fact that I've got saltwater crocodiles in here. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to swap it for like a more normal one. Now that I've got the actual kind of shell of the building in, um, I'm going to go in and put in some heaters. Yes, as protesters, just because it's taking us so long to get it up to temperature. Ooh, what's about power? Uh, okay. So. Because this one's the one that's giving it power, I think. Yeah, so I'm just going to call mechanic. Because it's, yeah, it's nearly dead. And then I'm going to up the maintenance visits to every six months. And that should help prevent that from happening again. How are the crocodiles doing for temperature? They're very cold still. I think we might have to push it right all the way up to 40. So it's expensive to run. We'll just have to see how it does. Take that off. Oh, is it in the middle of the night again? <sighs> right, we'll fast forward to get some more daylight. As usual. Actually, I'm gonna use the opportunity and put in some a uh, couple of lights in here. I think. So I'm only gonna put these sort of on the front edge, um, but I just I like the way it looks. I think it makes it look pretty. So let's uh, fast forward until we have some more light, shall we? Right. So let's get the yeah the nutrition shoes is from eating guest food, I think. Um, let's get your environment up, shall we? You're happy with it, to be honest. I want it to feel a bit more lush though, because obviously we've got this greenhouse environment. Like I want it to feel a bit like a greenhouse. Um, I also want to add in some rocks and stuff and make it look pretty. And then what I kind of want to do is put in like some plants around here. So I'm going to try and build in like a little border. So let's get the terrain sorted. So whenever I'm painting the terrain, I always try and like have a little story in mind as I'm doing it. So the reason that this bit here is all grassy is because they don't tend to come down the back. And then where they normally tend to hang out is more kind of like around the sides and stuff. And that's why it's more soil based. 
so now they're happy with that let's get some plants in um, I don't want to go with too many plants because they don't like it so I'm going to focus more on this little corner here and also the gap between the two shops And then I'm just going to go and scatter some ferns across the rocks just to kind of give a bit more of an idea that like this place is really alive and you know thriving and stuff. I didn't think I'd like that, but actually, yeah. Okay, so let's get our little waterfall in. Okay, I think that is everything. Um, I don't want to put a sign on it. So I think I might just call it the lagoon. Do you ever stare at a word so long that it just looks really weird to you? <laughs> I quite like the way that looks. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I want it right over the door though. Well, like because as you're coming down then you can see like oh okay so like that's what we can go get food and stuff okay so i am going to call it there and uh, it's time to show you how wonderful this looks so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what kind of animals you want to see me uh, include in this zoo particularly like snowy or tropical animals and we'll see if we can build them in and uh, yeah i'll see you next time cheerio